Hi, I'm Miss Magda from the Vordo Branch Library, and I have a question for you. So, have you ever watched a movie and then read a book, and then suddenly all the actors in the movie are now playing the characters in your book? Watching superhero videos have completely changed Norse mythology for me. Comment below in the questions and tell me who you are thinking about during this story. The Asgardians were at war with the Frost Giants every single day. Bam, bam, bam. Battle after battle after battle, right? Nobody was getting any sleep until this Mason shows up. Now, he was a weird looking guy, like gray skin that was tight on his bones and his smile just didn't carry any warmth whatsoever. But he said he could build a wall all the way around Asgard and that way the warriors could get some sleep and then they would finally beat the frost giants. He only had a small prize. He'd like to marry Freya, the goddess of love and beauty, and he would like the sun and the moon as well. To sweeten the deal, he said he could get the wall done in three seasons with all of his guys and his horse. <laughs> no, 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 no. This was impossible. Nobody wanted this deal, especially Freya. I mean, who wants to marry a guy like that, right? And Odin was going to say no. And then Loki talked him out of it. Because Loki came up with a plan. How they could get the wall, but pay nothing. They agreed to the Mason's demands, except on condition. He could only have one season to build the wall. And he could only use himself and his horse. Nobody else. He started to work the next day. It was the middle of winter. And he and his horse, this great big huge black stallion, began to drag rocks one day after another. And there were rocks and it was getting taller and it was getting wider and this wall was really being built. Well, it was really entertaining to watch for a while. And then it got too cold to be outside. So all the Asgardians went into their grand hall and hung out until spring sprung and they came out to see that the wall was almost finished only had a little bit of section and a gate left that was it and now freya was angry and how did she want to take her anger out on that would be loki she went looking for him found him sleeping outside in a hammock under the spring sunshine. She poked him with her finger. And when he woke up, she poked the air in the direction of the wall. He looked and got a little pale. And then he looked the other direction and realized Odin was coming to see him. <clears throat> the Allfather walked up crossed his arms and said, you will fix this. Okay. Okay. No problem. So Loki got to work. He watched the Mason go back and forth, back and forth. And he realized where he was going to go get the rocks. And so he followed him that direction. The Mason took no notice of anybody else, just picked up rocks and loaded up his horse, picked up rocks, loaded up his horse, and then he realized his horse wasn't moving at all. It was looking out in the direction of the woods. He looked himself to see what his horse was looking at, and he realized that it was a female white mare, shaking her mane, shaking her tail, and here is his horse, paying a lot of attention. All of a sudden, the stallion reared up, knocked off his reins, and went running for that white horse. Well, she took off into the woods, because she wasn't going to get caught. And the two of them left 
the mason behind in the dust. He tried to drag all those rocks back to Asgard. And it didn't work very well. And he tried to finish the wall in time. And that didn't work out well at all. And he realized that the gods had tricked him somehow. He went stomping into the Grand Hall. And at that point, his disguise fell away. He grew huge with pale skin and frosty blue eyes. And we realized that he is actually a frost giant. This wall with all of its secrets. All that information would have been taken back to the frost giants and they would have actually won the war. And so Thor took up his mighty hammer and he and Mjolnir took care of that frost giant. As for Loki, he came back about a year later with a gray horse with six legs. Loki looked as tired as a mother who has an infant and a toddler at home. He went straight to All Father and offered Odin his horse, saying that well, he had not been able to outrun the Black Stallion, and he had been spending the last year with a new little colt. If Odin would take this as a gift, maybe he would be allowed to come back home. And Odin forgave Loki. And he got a new horse, one that would lead him on the Grand Hunt and also defeat the Frost Giants. That's the story, so tell me who you were thinking about. And also check out the rest of NPL Universe next Thursday right here. Bye.